So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons you're gonna love living in the Flatiron District in Manhattan. If you've ever spent time in the Flatiron District, there's probably two things that you've done there. So I'm gonna get to one of them later on in this video, but the first one is you've probably been to a rooftop in or around the Flatiron District. Now, probably one of the most famous rooftops in Manhattan, 235th, is in this neighborhood. I'm definitely not gonna talk about that in this video because I don't love that rooftop bar at all. It's a complete tourist trap, and honestly, it's not very good. Any New Yorker who's been here for quite some time will agree with that and tell you not to go there because it's just not very good, to be honest with you. But the reason why why they do get so much traffic at that particular rooftop is because they have great views. Like the views from the Flatiron District is amazing. So if you can take advantage of any of the other rooftops in and around the neighborhood, I highly recommend it because you're going to have really, really great views. Now the dining in the Flatiron District is also absolutely incredible. Now there are so many good spots in and around this neighborhood. And I say around this neighborhood as well, because if you look at the Flatiron District on a map, it's actually very, very small. It's right next to Nomad. It's right next to Chelsea. It's right next to Union Square. So sometimes if you like literally Step, depending on where you are in the neighborhood. Two streets over, you're in another neighborhood. But at the same time, if you live in the Flatiron District, that's only two blocks away. So when talking about the Flatiron District, I tend to refer to in and around the neighborhood because things that are technically in another neighborhood but are only a few blocks away will still be amenities that you can take advantage of in the neighborhood. So it really doesn't matter if you think about it. Now, Madison Square Park is actually in this neighborhood. This is a very, very famous park in New York City. It's a little bit small, but I would say that it's probably one of the most famous ones that people know. They do also have Shake Shack in Madison Square Park, which is the original Shake Shack. And people love this location. Absolutely love it. They do have a really nice dog park as well. It's also a small park that you can just like kind of take like a casual stroll or grab a coffee and walk through like if you need a break or something during the day. So it's a really nice place to just stop by. Now the subway transportation in this neighborhood is actually phenomenal. There's a lot of trains that come into the Flatiron District. So it's one of those neighborhoods that you never really have to worry about catching a train to get to another neighborhood. You're always going to have options in the Flatiron District. So the bars in this neighborhood and the cocktails at the really nice restaurants are very, very good. I do not live near the Flatiron District, but I spend a decent amount of time in this neighborhood and I do go out of my way sometimes to go out to eat or drink in this neighborhood. So I definitely think that you have really, really good options here as well. There's actually a good amount of big box shops in and around the neighborhood. I know what you're probably thinking. You're like, Lauren, this is New York City. I want local stuff. Like, why would I care about that? I do have to say, I am a huge proponent on supporting local. Absolutely huge. If you watch any of my other videos, I talk about it all the time. But here's the problem. Sometimes I think that it's very, very convenient to have some of these big box stores nearby. So what are some of these big box stores I'm talking about? There's a Home Depot in this neighborhood, which is actually like, I've gone out of my way so many times to go to this Home Depot, even though I've never lived in the Flatiron District. I've just needed to go to Home Depot for something. So I literally had to make a trip to this Home Depot many times when I've lived in many different neighborhoods. In Chelsea, it's technically in Chelsea, but very close to this neighborhood. You have Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Bed Bath & Beyond, still open at the time of this video. It's like an absolutely gorgeous, gigantic Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you haven't been there, you should check it out. All those options right there in Chelsea, but on the like cusp of this neighborhood too, you can easily walk there from pretty much anywhere in the neighborhood which sounds really lame, but sometimes you just like want to go to an actual like store and not like order things online all the time. So like having those stores right there is actually really nice. Like I've definitely made quite a few trips to all three of those stores a few times, even though I don't live in the neighborhood. And also there is a Trader Joe's in Chelsea on the borderline of Flatiron and then also a Whole Foods in Nomad on the borderline of the neighborhood as well, which if you guys have also watched any of my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of both of those stores. I do love supporting local and there are plenty of local things that you can support in the neighborhood, but but sometimes it's just really nice to have those stores that you know exactly what you're getting and what you're going in there for. I would say that the Flatiron District is kind of like an iconic neighborhood in Manhattan. So what do I mean by iconic? If you say that you live in the Flatiron District, a lot of people who are pretty familiar with Manhattan will definitely know where you live. They'll know the building, they'll know the vibe of the neighborhood. So people like to say that they live in the Flatiron District because everybody knows it. You definitely can't say that for every New York City neighborhood because there's a lot of very, very obscure ones, but the Flatiron District is definitely one of the most iconic of Manhattan. Now, you are near nightlife in this neighborhood Neighborhood. There's not a ton directly in the neighborhood, but it's going to be an easy walk to get to a lot of different places where you can go out for the night. So it's very convenient if you're looking for that. And just like how I keep saying in and around the neighborhood, this neighborhood is in a great location with a lot of other really great neighborhoods nearby. You're going to be bordering Nomad, which Nomad recently has been the trendy spot for bars and really high end restaurants recently, probably like within the past year. So you're right next to Nomad, you're right next to Chelsea, and everybody loves Chelsea. That's always like a prime neighborhood people want to go to. Then you're also near Union Square. So Union Square is going to be where Union Square Park is. And then you're also next to Gramercy, which is extremely picturesque, has really, really great coffee shops. And you could definitely spend a little bit of time just like strolling the streets in Gramercy because it's really, really pretty. So it's a great, great location. Plus that paired with the subways, you can get anywhere in the city. And my last one, probably one of my favorites. And I'm not trying to be cheesy with this answer because I know that I might get some hate in the comments because a lot of people think that Italy is a tourist trap. And look, it's going to attract tourists because it really is kind of like a one-of-a-kind Italian market in New York City. No one's really seen anything like that before. 
So I do love Italy. I have to say, I love Italy. I love the store. I love the restaurants. I love the desserts. Oh my God, absolutely amazing. You have to go there if you haven't. Now, there are going to be tourists there, like I said, but I do think that honestly, it's one of those places that even though there are tourists there, a lot of locals in New York City do like Italy. And if they say they don't, they either don't like Italian food or they're lying to you because honestly, it's very, very good food. Now, this Italy location is the main location in New York City. There's another one downtown, but this one's definitely a bit bigger. This one has a rooftop bar, but the rooftop bar, even though it is a rooftop, it's really cool. The restaurant is amazing. You should go, but it doesn't have a view. I know I talk about how there could be really good views in and around this neighborhood from the rooftops. This rooftop doesn't really have a view, so it's definitely not the rooftop you go to for that. You go for the food and it's great. And there's also a bunch of other restaurants in this Italy location as well. I think there's like handfuls of them. I have to say that I go out of my way to go to this Italy quite often, honestly. And if I lived in the neighborhood, I'd probably be there way too much. So maybe it's good that I don't, to be honest. So that's 10 things you're going to love about living in the Flatiron District in Manhattan. If there's anything that I missed in this video, anything you want to add, or if you have any questions about the neighborhood, please feel free to leave them in the comments because as always, I love hearing from you guys. And also we just launched a new newsletter called our City Life Newsletter. And this is going to be a weekly newsletter that focuses on things happening in and around Manhattan. Now it's not specific on Flatiron District. This one is definitely more general about all of New York City, but it's definitely going to include things about the Flatiron District, of course, and also other things that you guys are gonna need to know about Manhattan. So if you think that's valuable, please feel free to sign up. If you click on the description of this video, you'll see a link there to sign up. Thank you guys.